Okay, today we're doing an unboxing video and a first use on the um, Philips TV. I've got a 55 inch 4K UHD LED uh, series 8900. As I said, it's a Philips, it's called an Ambilight TV and this particular model is called the One. So we're gonna see what's inside the box. Just take a quick look round it. Not a great deal to see, you've got the energy rating label. The back of the box is very much similar, but we'll run through all the things this TV's got. So, as I said, it's a 4K UHD LED, smart TV with a three-sided ambilight. And then it, down here it says you've got your picture perfect engine, 4K Ultra HD, Dolby Vision Atmos, which is to do with your uh, immersive movie experience. You've got your AMD FreeSync Premium, which is more if you're a gamer, stuff to do with gaming. Um, you've got 120 megahertz refresh rate, which is very good for TV. Don't really want to go any lower than that. A DTS Play FI, which is um, it's DTS um, audio Wi-Fi able, basically that all that means. HDMI, which I know about. And then you've got the model numbers down there. And it's also got the free view play, if you're in England, of course. So that's that. So let's have a look and see what you get. So working from this side, we've got what looks like it's part of the stand. Quite heavy that bit. Uh, TV manual and your warranty in as many languages as you want to. The power cable, which in this case is the three pin plug, but obviously you'd be supplied with a one for your country. And most TVs come standard with your with two pin pong which I don't know if you can see it from there. Right, energy rating label. We've got a remote control which is Rambi like remote control. Let's just get that one out. On the back it says you Philips. So there you go you've got on off ambi light which you can turn your lights on and off. And then all your standard apps down the bottom. Pretty standard. Um, another section here of the bracket your stand with some screws and that by the looks of it. In here, that's the main part of the stand which sits down there. That bit is really heavy. So loads of bits for your stand but we're not going to be using that because we're just going to stick it on the wall up there. Um, and then you've got your quick start guide. Now this is the bit that's probably important. It tells you what you've got, which I can find it. So there you go. You've got a HDMI, so you've got a power, whether it's UK or UK, you've got a satellite um, input, you've got an antenna, which is obviously an aerial, a HDMI 1, HDMI 2, which is your ARC socket. So if you're like me and you use one of these surround systems, um, make sure you use that socket with the HDMI cable because it brings the sound back from the cable you already use back. So as well as sending a picture that way, it's bringing your audio back that way and putting it into the 5.1 or 7.1 or whatever you use. And um, so that's important to use that. You've also got a couple of extra HDMIs, but again, because the denim receiver, just one signal goes to the TV. Everything else like your satellite boxes, DVD boxes, etc., etc., all go into that dead and home theatre so you don't need any other than one cable to your TV. Also got digital out if you're not using the ARC but obviously we say we are using the ARC and you've got a network cable if need be but this TV has got Wi-Fi not that it says it but it has got Wi-Fi. So once we get out of the box we'll show you again. Bye. Okay we've now got the TV out of the box um, a couple of issues we might have personally is, I don't know if you noticed, our lead is a right angled lead and the power goes directly up. So whether I'm going to get that on is another thing. But anyway, it shows you the back. So you've got the satellite connection and the aerial uh, HDM type, HDMI 2, which is the ARC, and then the other things I mentioned. Um, and then on the side here you've got um, USBs, service U, not sure, quite sure what that's on about. 
And obviously this one's got the LEDs around the top and around each of the sides. There's the front of the TV. Unfortunately, we've got a cat in the way, a little kitten there. Um, so it's just the Philips, nice silver bar at the bottom. Obviously it's all still got its packaging on. So hopefully the next shot would be it up and displayed.